Hey Thirtonistas and Thirtonistos. Now I know I have been pumping out these videos like crazy and I just want you to know some of the deals because I'm reading the comments guys and a lot of people are saying hey their Ross doesn't have anything their Walgreens doesn't have anything so I am trying to go to different stores just to bring you different items just so you can see the clearance so maybe your Ross doesn't have anything maybe your Burlington doesn't have anything but there are other stores out there and this is the month of January and this is the time to buy so I bring you to TJ Maxx and as you can see TJ Maxx is having their yellow clearance sale now it's not really a clearance sale it's more like a closeout sale so by the time it hits the yellow sticker that is pretty much almost the lowest price that it will go and I did speak with management today so as you can see some of the items majority of the items that I seen were a lot like three dollars or less they did have a lot of beauty products. So for people that were stating, hey, they're looking for beauty care, skin care, you may want to try your TJ Maxx or even look in your area. This table was soon as you entered and it had a lot of different items that still does not excuse the other clearances that it has around the store. Some of the items were still marked a little bit pricey. And as you can see, this one still has the red sticker on there so of course even though it has the red sticker it still can go down to the yellow sticker so this one is a yellow sticker for ten dollars for this it can continue to go down when i spoke with the manager at the store they explained to me that they're going to continue to keep marking down every single week and he said the lowest amount that it would go would be probably at the end of january and he said that's because the first week of February, whatever did not sell, they donate to charity. So on here, if you see items that is still not as low as you want it, I get it guys, I am a bargain hunter myself. But if it's not as low as you want it, then don't worry, just keep going back. So now I put all that out to say, back to regular scheduled programming. This Steve Madden is $10. So they had a lot of the Steve Madden wallets or wrist purse for $10, $12. They had cologne, perfume. They had a lot of different things. Now, some of the items that were very low, like this was a dollar and it's missing one of the cups on there, but they did have, once again, nail polish kits. They had makeup beauty sets. They had everything that you could possibly think of and they're going through while i was in the store they were still in the store scanning so you don't have to run out to your nearest tj maxx okay guys i don't want you leaving work i don't want you doing all of that i am just showing you that this weekend if you happen to be out in the stores maybe you can swing by tj maxx and see what yours have maybe you can monitor it maybe you don't this is just like an informational video, okay? Can we can we just all agree that it's an informational video? Now, these earrings were $10, and as you can see, they are not worth $10. So my real thrift denises and people that love those deals, the jewelry has not went down to the lowest price just yet. So with that, I would just keep watching. This was $3, and it was just like a nice little chain. And I tried to get some of every department this time. So on there, I mean, I went to men's, I went to purses. My TJ Maxx did not have a lot of purses on sale at all. So let's just go ahead and you can see some of the things that I um, was able to capture, which is like $10, $12, not too bad. Um, on here, that was $10 and it's a Michael Kors hat. And then they also have, which, so it's not that much of savings just yet, but remember guys, repeat after me, it goes down. Each week it will go down. I thought these were nice, which were the Steve Madden sets on there for $12. And I didn't go through and start pulling back everything, but as you can see, there's a lot of yellow tickets that are going on around the store. So you can actually look and see these are just some more wallets this is a juicy couture wallet and this one looks as if it has went down to eight dollars once again if this is not your thing if it's not your pricing it's all good i'm not offended okay 
but this is just what's out there. And if you know someone or this can help you for your gift closet, grab it. Can we agree? Grab it. All right. So these are just the purses and different things. I'm going to continue to walk around and just show you but there are a lot of yellow tickets. And I think the lowest that I've seen them go were $1, not for the purses, just for the merchandise that I'm going to be showing you today, which is $1. Now, of course, I don't know if your TJ Maxx is cleared out. I don't know. All right, so this is the stuff that is normally that's on the clearance rack. And you know how they have like at the end of each end cap of the aisle, they have the beauty aisle. Some of these um, products I've never heard of, but the pricing, $3, $1, you cannot beat the pricing at all, especially if this is something that you use. Now, sometimes you have to dig for these different things. This is toothpaste, Elizabeth Arden, facial, um, I don't know, some type of beauty product for your face, but you may have to dig for a lot of these items to just see, but our end caps were stacked. So, I mean, I if you are into beauty and that is your thing, you might want to go ahead and search it out. But some of the items, you know, of course, with any TJ Maxx, some of the items are just iffy and you don't know what it does, what it's for. And the main thing is, obviously, you want to check the expiration dates just to make sure it is not expired, that it's not going to expire soon at all either. So they had all types of things from slimming belts to actually makeup products to perfume, um, anything beauty. And this was just like one of the first end caps. And now I'm moving over to this one just because we had a lot of people in the store and I just didn't want to bother them. And you know how people don't want to be on YouTube. So I thought this Juicy Tour um, set was a decent, it was decent. It's not as low as I would like. Um, it was $30, but we do have different items where once again, it's like in your $30, you have Jador, $22, and you can just see where the red sticker was there and then they replaced it with the yellow sticker. So once again, if it has a red sticker, it's going to eventually go to a yellow sticker. If it has a yellow sticker, it's going to continue to move down each week. Everything that does not sell by the end of January will be donated. Now, this was like the jackpot end um, cap aisle. And that's because they had like this makeup set for Profusion was only $2.50. And you can see that this one had a lot of different things there as well. This was another gift set where it's like cocoa butter lotion, I think body wash and something. It was $3. So a lot of different items like i said i didn't really see much that was over three dollars for the yellow ticket so i thought that this was pretty much a great steal on there now guys you know i always happen to drop stuff oops i did pick it up i promise you i picked it up on there as well this is a calvin klein um cologne or perfume set and the price of this was 18 dollars. so you can still just kind of monitor it maybe check out your store maybe it has went lower maybe it has not i'm not sure about marshall's because i didn't go to marshall's i'm at tj maxx so on here this one was three dollars and fifty cents so i think these are affordable pricing like let me know in the comments do you think this is affordable for these kids or is this junk because you guys will let me know anyway you'll say it's junk it's not worth it but for $2.50 little gift sets, especially if you're going to give it out within the next few months, then I would definitely say this. This is one of my favorites to pick up. The Contour Kits by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And that is $10. I usually love that as well. Now with the liquid lipsticks and some of this, I have not tried TJ Maxx um, makeup. So let me know in the comments below if you tried it. Does it work just the same? There I go again dropping stuff 
but I'm getting better. Now, this is not a good deal for e.l.f. It's $5, which you know, most e.l.f. brushes are only like a dollar anyway, and it's a five-piece set. So you kind of want to know your pricing. Like you definitely want to know your pricing to know if you're getting a good deal or not. But I mean, if you're watching my channel, I'm going to say that you are a thriftinista and you know your prices. Okay, girl? I think you do. So this is $2 on there and then this was a jessica simpson wallet and i think for the jessica simpson wallet it was once again ten dollars as well so a lot of the wallets were ten dollars which they'll get marked down even more and then a lot of the beauty gift sets or makeup sets were like three dollars or less and this is just some brushes these were popular a few years ago so just ten dollars as well but not too bad at all and like i said we had three or four end caps in addition to the tables that were at the front of the store in addition to other stuff that was just marked around the store that was on clearance now i thought this was a nice gift set um it is six dollars and I'm just going to show you what comes in this. Now, the candle smelled amazing, guys. Like when I opened that set up, it smelled really, really nice. And I started to pick it up to smell, but you wouldn't actually be able to see me. But it did smell great. So if you've tried this product, let me know in the comments below. But for $6, you get all those products and a candle. And then they had some of like your hair accessories on sale. Um which we all know that you can get some of those free from the drugstore, like blow dryers and different things. So let's go ahead and go to the next section. All right, guys, so you know how TJ Maxx always has like the random clearance aisle. And this one is like, you know, for the section for furniture or just home accessories. So that's exactly what this aisle is. But when I was looking at it, they have like a lot of Christmas mugs or just regular mugs even some of the gift sets that did not sell, they are here as well. And so once again, a lot of the things were under $3, such as this mug set. So it says busy daydreaming. But when I went through, they had like just a lot of different random knickknacks that if this is your type of thing, or maybe you like to put this in your house or use or give away um, these ink pens would definitely work for like spring or Easter baskets or giving away they were three dollars but it wasn't just really a big savings off of that because they were normally five but as you can see they have mugs they have Christmas um, mugs and dishware so on there this was just like that random aisle it was a lot of yellow tickets and it's just like you just didn't know exactly what you were going to find so um, I think everyone's TJ Maxx has these type of aisles where it's just like a lot of random things that are thrown, um, on this aisle. And then of course, like some things that are broken or missing, just like this Rachel Roy or Rachel Zoe, excuse me, set. So that's the only thing with TJ Maxx. Of course, sometimes it can go lower because it is missing, um, you know, some of the items or different things there. But as you can see, it has a lot of yellow tickets. So I'm just going through picking up just little random things that catches my eye. Um, and then of course, some people just decide to dump things that they don't want on here, such as this on here. So this did not have any clearance at all. But one of the things that I thought that was really, really nice is this Corona gift set. It was like Corona seasonings and different things. And it is $7. So I thought this was pretty nice. Um, I was not, throughout this trip, I did not purchase anything. It's just for me to show you on here what's out in store. So if this is something that you need or you're still looking for gift sets, then you can, you know, obviously just come pick them up. But I did not want any Godiva chocolate or the mugs or different things, but they are $3. So it looks like it's about 50% off. These Kate Spade socks were nice, but they still had a red ticket at $8, which we know is going to get the yellow ticket on there and it'll go down even more. So these were just some of the items um, that I picked up on this random aisle. 
I'm going to show you just a few more things and then I found some decent things in the home section. So let's go ahead and head over there and see what we can find. And you let me know guys, thus far, is it a good deal or no? All right, so I'm just showing you some of the home that we have right now um, in our store. None of the items that I seen was yellow ticketed or red ticketed. Not to say that it probably won't happen, it just did not have it. But these are just some of the things that we have in store that I thought was very, very nice. Um, so if you need, you know, some home items, come grab it. All right, so we are in the little furnishings. And of course, these are little knickknacks for your home. They were $2.50. But to me, the great deals that I end up discovering was on some of the sheet sets. Now, this isn't bad for $18. But these I thought were really, really nice. They were all $2 shower curtains. So almost every holiday shower curtain was $2. So if you are a person that is the hostess with the mostest or you have your family come over or you love to decorate your home, these would be nice to put up in at $2. Like, you know, you can actually put these away and store them. But I think they were a great deal to try to continue like that festive or holiday spirit throughout the house. And then they also had sheet sets. So this queen sheet set that was Christmas oriented was only $8. You cannot beat that at all, especially like you're only going to put it on for the holiday season. You'll still have your comforter. You'll still have those things on there. So it was a nice little touch. These were $10 and it was a full, but they were flannel. So I just went through and they had different sheet sets. I'm guessing that some of them already had sold. These, of course, were your Ralph Lauren um, sheets. And, you know, they're going to be more of your expensive. And then once again, these were like your table runners. They had not only table runners, but throws to put over your um, couches. And they were $7, $15. Some of them had not been just marked down to its lowest just yet. So let's go ahead and go into the kids section. All right there, Denise says, and a lot of the kids section had clothes for as low as $2.50. Now, I'm not going to go through the um, newborn section, and unfortunately, I did not go to the women's section because it is getting a little bit long, but um, the clothes were like $2.50, and then they also had like a lot of tights and different like toddler's clothes as well for $3. So as you can see, this rack was just getting a bit lengthy on there. So these are the tights that I was talking about for $3 they had. Um, and a lot of this was from the children's place. So as you can see, it came directly from there. Then they also had like accessories such as hats and earmuffs and a lot of different items. So I was definitely pleasantly surprised. These are some slippers for $3 and 50 cents. And then this is an Adidas hat, so you cannot beat that at all. So roll tide roll, okay? You see those socks for $1, and you see that on here they have red tickets. So once again, guys, some of this is looking like it's 50% off or it's halfway marked down. Just look at your pricing, know your pricing. I just wanted you to know before it really starts to get marked low, so maybe you can put this on your list to stop by TJ Maxx, okay? So if this is not your pricing yet and you want to wait for a better deal, just wait, but keep it in mind that they will be having this um, yellow ticket event, okay? Now, this was some men's pajama sets, and I guess this was kind of the section where a lot of your stocking stuffers or toys or games were featured at. And so once again, they had items, $2, $3, $4, and yeah, I dropped something again, but I'm picking it up. So that's what's taking me a little bit longer to move on with this section. However, um, if you see, they were able to have like, this is a hockey set for $4. They had some men's beard collection. Really, you're just going to have to get in there and really just dig. I mean, I found all kinds of toys. Not only did I find toys, but there were just like a lot of different sleeping sets for men. 
So this was just like the jack of all trades for this little aisle. So anywhere from Scrabble to games that you never heard of to beer pong. I mean, a lot of different items. And you can see here, these are dollar cards. So once again, if you have children, grandchildren, um, if you're a person that donates and likes to give things away, this may be where you can go and just look at it and get some nice little random gifts on there. So once again, guys, TJ Maxx all month will keep on marking tickets down lower. Um, my store said each and every week it will continue to go lower. I don't know if it's going to stay or not. Let me know how your TJ Maxx is. Now, I thought this was really nice. It's a Timberland scarf set, but on there, it was not marked down to yellow ticket just yet. And so, I mean, this is a karaoke set, which they had a lot of them. They were $25. And then also we had like a lot of Lucky Brand um, pajama sets, which they range from medium to large um, on there as well. So this is the time to stock up and you can just see, look at all these items that we have left. So let me know, what did you think about this shopping trip um, on here? It was some deals. Yes, there are deals, especially on beauty, probably not as much, but just keep this on your radar, just moving forward in the future. And then if you guys can let me know, what store would you like to see next? So please like, comment, subscribe, talk to me down below and just tell me what store do you want me to go to next and what are you looking for? Thank you so much for watching. Bye.